Now another representation of Fourier series is in complex form. So if we have any function which is 2L periodic and which is defined on the interval minus L2 plus L, then we can write Fourier representation of this function fx as the summation n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite cn e to the power iota n pi x by l where this coefficient cn will be given by 1 upon 2l this integral from minus l to plus l fx into e to the power minus iota n pi x by l dx and in complex representation also if we are given time signals then again we can take x as omega t then we can represent any signal f t as this summation n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite c n into e to the power j n omega t and here we are taking iota as j because in electrical signals this i it is reserved for current so we are representing iota with j and if we have to find this c n this c n will be given by 1 upon t and then this integral from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 ft e to the power minus jn omega t into dt. So once we have this cn, we can express any signal in terms of complex Fourier series. So suppose we have the square wave series of unit amplitude and it is defined between minus L to plus L and it is 2L periodic. Now we have to find complex form representation of Fourier series. Now we know that we can express this function fx as this summation n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite cn e to the power iota n by x by l. Now for this we write cn. Now for this series cn will be 1 upon 2l and then this integral from minus L to plus L fx into e to the power minus iota n by x by L into dx. Now this function between minus L and minus L by 2 will be 0 and between L by 2 and L will again be 0. So we can write this cn as this 1 upon 2L and then this integral from minus L by 2 to plus L by 2 fx e to the power minus iota n by x by L into dx. Now in between minus L by 2 and plus L by 2 it is a constant function and this fx is 1. So we can write this cn as 1 upon 2L and then this integral from minus L by 2 to plus L by 2 e to the power minus iota n by x by l into dx. Now we integrate this function. Now if we integrate this, we write cn equals 1 upon 2l and here it will be e to the power minus iota n by x by l upon minus iota n pi by l from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2. Now here this L and L will cancel. So we can write this CN as minus 1 upon 2 iota n pi and here it will be e to the power minus iota n pi by L into L by 2 and then minus e to the power minus iota n pi by L into minus L by 2. Now this L and L will cancel. So we'll get this as minus 1 upon 2 iota n pi and here will be e to the power 
माइनस आयोटा एन पाई बाई टू एम माइनस ईड बार प्लस आयोटा एन पाई बाई टू नाउ दिस इज कॉस थीटा माइनस आयोटा साइन थीटा एंड दिस इज कॉस थीटा माइनस आयोटा साइन थीटा सो कॉस थीटा इल कैंसिल सो वील गेट दिस इज माइनस वन अपॉन टू आयोटा एन पाई एंड हियर इल बी माइनस टू आयोटा साइन n pi by two. Now this two iota and two iota will cancel, so we'll get this cn as sine n pi by two upon n pi. So once we have the cn, we can write this Fourier representation of function f x as this summation n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite sine. n pi by two upon n pi e to the power pi theta n pi x by l. Now let us take another example. Suppose we have this function f x, which is defined by e to the power x in the interval minus one to plus one. So for this period is two, so value of l is one. Now we can write this function f x as this summation n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite c n e to the power iota n pi x by l and l in this case is one. Now we need to find this c n. Now c n will be one upon two l, so it'll be simply one by two, and then this integral from minus l to plus l. f x f x in this case is e to the power x into e to the power minus iota n pi x by l into d x. So we can write this c n as one by two, and then this integral from minus one to plus one e to the power one minus iota n pi into x d x. Now we integrate this function. We can write this as c n. And it will be equal to one upon two e to the power one minus iota n pi into x upon one minus iota n pi, and then these limits from minus one to plus one. So we can write this as one upon two into one minus iota n pi, and here it will be e to the power one minus. Iota n pi minus e to the power one minus iota n pi into minus one. So we'll get this minus sign. Now we can write this as one upon two one minus iota n pi, and here will be this e to the power one into e to the power minus iota n pi, and then minus e to the power minus one into e to the power minus minus plus iota n pi now e to the power iota n pi is cos n pi plus iota sin n pi now sin n pi will be zero so e to the power iota n pi is minus 1 to the power n and if we look at e to the power minus iota n pi will be cos n pi minus iota sin n pi Now again in this case sin n pi will be zero, so it'll also be minus one to the power n. So both these exponentials they are nothing but minus one to the power n. So we can write the cn as one upon two one minus iota n pi into minus one to the power n into e minus one upon e. So complex Fourier series representation of e to the power x will be. E minus one upon e divided by two, and then this summation n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite, minus one to the power n upon one minus iota n pi into e to the power iota n pi x.